Terry Strada is in Lower Manhattan tonight. She's going to be at the 9-11 memorial that takes place in the city tomorrow. Terry wants the secret FBI documents released because she believes it is going to show a link between the Saudi government and the hijackers. Tom Strada had a four-day-old baby boy at home. So on that Tuesday morning, the plan was just to drop by the office. Terry remembers the frantic call her husband made almost exactly 20 years to the day. He told me that a plane had hit the building. When I hung up the phone is when the images came on the TV and I saw the billowing black smoke coming out of the North Tower, which is exactly where he was. Seeking justice, Terry has been on a nearly two-decade odyssey to get the FBI to release secret files on the 9-11 investigation. Like Osama bin Laden, 15 of 19 hijackers were Saudis. Terry thinks the files will show Saudi Arabia financed and supported the plot. And a lot of it was in the state of Florida, up and down the east and west coast of Florida. If we don't expose and really deeply dive into how 9-11 happened, we can't protect ourselves going forward. Many 9-11 families, even lawmakers, agree. Former Senator Bob Graham helped lead an investigation into the intelligence failure. In 2016, he pushed for the release of classified files. And the American people need to know so that they can make an assessment of who are our real friends and allies. The Justice Department has long fought to keep the documents secret. But last week, under pressure, President Biden ordered the review and potential declassification of the files. It's unclear if the files will support the family's claims against the kingdom, but Terry is optimistic. It's time the truth comes out. In the past 20 years, Terry has raised her three children alone dreaming of her husband and even having conversations. Yes, I do talk to him quite often. I ask him for advice sometimes. I ask him for strength when, you know, raising the kids alone has been challenging. She is a remarkable woman. Now, the 9-11 Commission found no evidence that the Saudi government or senior officials, quote, individually funded the attacks. But again, many families do not buy that or they think that lower ranking Saudi officials, Keith, were perhaps involved. But here. the families are still filing this lawsuit against the kingdom and they're accusing them of being complicit in what happened on 9-11. And they think that this really could make a difference if this case goes through. Yeah, that's exactly right. They believe the documents could potentially help the families make their case in court. A lot of evidence has been classified on the grounds that it contains state secrets. But now that review process process is underway and very soon at any moment we could learn much more. All right. Thank you, Masa. And if you have something you want Masa to investigate, call the 8 on your side helpline 1-800-338-0808.